Some what? rice? Who would have thought? <laughs> Adam's gay. Oh, I just ate so much chocolate, I'm full. Okay, um, hello everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a really, really hot second. Today, I'm here with my friend Elizabeth, and we have wanted to film this video for literally such a long time. This is going to be a series on my channel, depending on how good it does. We have to. We have to. We are so many. committed. Like, we have so many memories, <laughs> and... Uh, we need to share them all because there are there's some good good stuff. So yeah, as you can tell by the title of this video, the video that we are doing today is middle school memories, and this is how <laughs> we're gonna start off the series here on my YouTube channel. And I guess we should should we just like jump right in well, with this head first? Or like yeah, we... okay, so like I'm gonna tell you the first time okay, like, I ever heard this... of you. Oh god, <laughs> the first time you've ever heard of me? Yeah, because my dad was a sub. Oh, so, <laughs> so she didn't know me when. The, no, yeah. I didn't. But I was in basketball, and I had some friends in basketball who also went to Kate Goodrich. Mm -hmm. So like, I did hear your name like from time to time. And Can't one help time, that popular. I think Kaylee was over. Maybe mm -hmm. I don't. I don't actually know who first mentioned oh you. Okay. But my dad was like, "Oh, Adam Lee. Yeah, I had him in class. All of a sudden, he just started like screaming. <laughs> that sounds like me. <laughs> and doing like." Your Bigfoot call? Oh no, my leprechaun time, call. At the time. Your dad loved my leprechaun call. No, because I. This is like, 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 it was something no. like that. Gene, if you're watching this, comment down below and uh, tell Elizabeth that it was the leprechaun call and not the Bigfoot call. Because I big... promise it's no, a leprechaun because call. I remember because we were all obsessed with, wasn't... with finding Bigfoot because like me, Riley, and Lauren, and maybe oh, someone else. the Pine would... River gals. Yes. <laughs> they're, they're going for that Bigfoot yes. search. So that's when I first heard of you. Oh my gosh. Okay, the first time I heard of you... I feel like it probably wasn't it, telling I think it me. wasn't telling yeah. it wasn't telling that you. It wasn't possible. But I remember the first like time I saw you and I think I told you this like multiple times. There's this one girl at my dance studio, her name's Mariah Nelson. And to this day yeah, I will say that you me. and Mariah Nelson are the same exact person, like identical. Like they look alike. Th yeah, she's very similar with her. The first time we met each other was in sixth grade. Orientation. Orientation. It for was like school. before sixth grade. Mm -hmm. So like they <laughs> oh had God. this. We they just graduated it, fifth grade. Yeah, like they called it a lock-in. It was not even a though lock -in. it wasn't a lock. Not a lock-in. Oh my God, they need to get sued for that because it was no lock. -in. I was so just, ready to like spend the night. In I know the gym I was ready. And it's like, big. I was like had like all this yeah. idea of like how great it would be. And then all of a sudden it was ten o'clock, and they're like, okay, let's go. Time to go home. Your parents should be picking you up soon. I went, um, hello. But one thing that I. Do you remember what? about that? Is that um, <laughs> do you remember? I'm so sorry, Alec Barrett. I don't think you're watching. Do you remember when he'd like would break dance and like move <laughs> his like, feet? And like all like the eighth graders are like, ooh, like you know, like the web leaders are like trying to hype him up and he's like just like kicking his feet back and forth with, like the strobe light. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Alec, I'm so sorry. I'm and not you just about see you. any good. And you just see any good. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> that was the highlight was the of highlight. the lock. -in. That was the highlight of the lock. -in. No, no, no. I'll tell you guys the highlight. Hi. So they split us up into random groups and we were the red team and we had to figure out a name. And we were t who came up with that? I want to say it was like Rain Canal. <laughs> I don't even know. It was, but it was like we we decided on Team Elmo. Yeah, because we were red, representing red today. Mm -hmm. Hey, Radio Rebel, where are you? I'm wearing yeah, red. If only we knew. If only we, we would have had then. a better name. We would have had a better name. Radio <laughs> Rebel. Oh my God, love. But then there there was like this whole scavenger hunt throughout the school, like the day portion, and like you know, me and Adam didn't really talk. We didn't really talk. We didn't. I like, do remember, however, I really wanted to be your friend. I thought you were really cool. Because you were tall, and I was the shortest of them <laughs> I remember, all. I was like, who is this tiny little boy? And when we would do like the name game, because we were trying to meet people in like our group, I would always say your name. I would either do you or Madeline Mummer, because Madeline Mummer was for <laughs> Kate And then you were like the other one that I would like just throw in, because it's like, oh my god, I want to be your friend. She's, She's fun. so tall. She's so tall, I love her. I was her. so tall. I was taller than friends. all the boys. You were. I was literally shorter than every single person. Ever in the entire year yearbook, I can pull my middle school yearbook he and say I'm shorter than them. them he them, was them. half my height. He was. He used to be the shortest kid, like throughout our entire grade and school, actually. When I was in eighth grade, until, I think I was still the smallest kid. Yeah, until the entire like, school. 
sophomore year, all of a sudden, oh, Adam's tall. Hey, everyone. I did. I like, taller store. than me, and I was like, what's going on? Different, kind of fun. Um, okay, so, so evening yeah. portion of the day. Oh, shoot, still, I'm so upset about they, this. Sure they told us that we will be dressing each other up. One person, one specific person we got to choose. Of course, it was Adam. And it also was because I was the shortest person in our group. And so we like, figured we'd easy. use, so we had to make the costumes out of newspaper, and we're like, we will use as much newspaper as we need and we will get the best use out of our newspaper if we choose the smallest person. We were thinking. They were thinkers. We we okay. were a thinking team. We were. Elmo mm -hmm. came to win. Elmo came to win. Still robbed. Still upset <laughs> that we didn't win. Whatever. Okay. Over it. Do you want to hear our team's idea? <laughs> I think you should. I do. Others. <laughs> okay. So basically, for those of you who don't know, I'm gay. Surprise! What? <laughs> who would have thought? Adam's and gay. So at the time, you know when you're gay, you're obsessed with like all the Lady Gaga songs. Like no one knows. Here's the thing, though. Adam That's, was not out. I was not out, but everyone should have known the second that I said, "Let me sing the Fame" by Lady Gaga, the song that no one knew by A Lady, Lady Gaga. Gaga song. Nobody knew. That's what I wanted to sing. That's what I wanted. And to then, perform. so that was the first sign of Adam. Mm-hmm. Of. Of bringing the, it. Yeah, I'm bringing it. <laughs> bringing and it. then so the second <laughs> sign was we we pretty much dressed him up in and newspaper yeah, drag. drag. It really was. And no, I, 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 you should insert the picture. I will. Here okay. it is. This is what I look like. Hey, hey, sixth grade Adam, miss you. <laughs> I know I don't. Um, Literally, our costume was so fun. I had. I big had boobs. boobs. <laughs> I had, had big, big boobs. boobs. I had like this like JoJo. I created the JoJo bow with you my newspaper. The JoJo no, Taylor bow. Sandowski did. She came up with the bow. Oh, Do you yeah. remember her? Mm -hmm. And then um, my shoes said the we fame all on it. So well together. Mm -hmm. And of course, I needed a manager. I mean, who? What celebrity can't have a manager? So of course, I picked my girl Elizabeth to be my manager. Mm -hmm. Best in the biz. And she was. <laughs> and um, like when I was getting prepared, I was coming up with like this big. Big, like performance because you have to bring it out there and so how else are you gonna win the how else are you gonna win lock in dress channel? up show dress up show I was like okay bring it so we had choreography like everyone was my security guard that was on them because I think Taylor Sandell also made like the glasses yeah for Adam newspaper. whoever wasn't in charge of like backstage and manager roles they were the security because the security. guess who needed it me. She did. She did. She I, needed I, it. I did. I did it. <laughs> it was crazy. I remember I would like I sang in front of our entire sixth grade class, the fame. Everybody was just like sitting there like, oh my god, no. Like what's going on? Okay. Everyone knows the song. You know how and we I did it. one, two indicators? There was a third indicator. Oh god. This boy did the split. At the end, <laughs> I dropped into the split. Everyone screamed. All the teachers were shaking in their boots. They were shaking in their conservative <laughs> boots. They were. Oh, that um, was good. Oh, no. <laughs> we forgot to mention how I introduced him because as his manager, I had to introduce, <laughs> introduce. him. Introduce. And you needed so a break. I go out. I you take our it. I take our um, newspaper microphone and I go. <laughs> Mail. Oh Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> may I introduce to you the male oh Lady Gaga. And then the security guards like stormed on stage <laughs> as in the center. And I was like, oh, I was like ready to perform the fame with Lady Gaga. Fame, doing it for the fame, fame, cause we wanna live the life of the rich and famous. So after this event, still pissed we lost, okay? Every time we'd see each other in the hallway, he'd go like, hey, hey manager. manager. <laughs> like, cause I still wanted to be your friend, but I feel like you didn't want to be my friend. I feel like. Well, I was like pretty dead set on Lauren. friend. I had like one friend, but I also had like my friends on the basketball team, but like me and Lauren were is mm. inseparable. Mm. So. Mm -hmm. Miss you Lauren Lumkey. Love you still. That brings us on to my next memory that I have. Me oh being friends God. with Lori Lumkey. So, Adam, not oh yet out no. yet, he was going for all the ladies. I was. I'm letting you know I brought it in the relationships. You like, did. I dated half of the sixth grade class. Mm hmm. The so, cast loved one day, me. Adam Lee was at my locker and I was like, oh my God, what's happening? Mm -hmm. I go up there and you, you were go. Nervous. You thought I was coming for you. Elizabeth, I need to ask you a humongous favor. And I was like, what's up? And I'm like, I'm your manager. I would do anything for mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And you go, set me up with Lauren Lemke. Like, I really, really like her. And I wanted her. He did. I and did. So he, like, <laughs> convinced me to set him up with her. And I was like, uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> like, whatever. I have my own problems. But I guess, like, my favorite client, I could help you out. Mm -hmm. And I was like, 
Well, okay. <laughs> and you gave me sure. the biggest hug, and you went, thank you, and you like skipped thank away. You. Oh, uh, and Lauren did decline me, which is a shock. A lot of girls would always say yes, but I feel like that's just you know, everyone wanted a date. Maybe I hyped you up too much. Maybe you did. Maybe she thought you were too good for her. Maybe she thought I was too good for her. Maybe she knew. What if she was the first person to know? Lauren then gives like... In sixth grade. You know, I'm not a boy. I don't even know how this was brought about, but like Adam would hang over all the girls <laughs> during lunch. I would. I really would. I'm calling you out, Mr. Grams. Mr. Grams, but... we see you. <laughs> He would like come around and like smack at him with a ruler, his yeah. figurative ruler, not actually. Yeah. He'd like get off of them. And then I'd say, no, we're married. And then we would hold hands. Yeah. Like this. So Gosh. take that, Mr. Grams, and we're still married today after like seven years. Mm -hmm. And Crazy. then he he always go like, we have to go to prom together. I have that written down. We were always going to be prom date and like all of my Yeah, but guess school. who ditched me every single time? Um, I wanted to you go to ditched prom me. With him. You ditched me sophomore year. Let's be, we got to tell audience all, you ditched me sophomore because year. Because I was like madly in love with someone sophomore year. And you I, were. And I wasn't. I still wanted to be with you. And then do you know what they did instead? They instead just kicked me out of the entire peppermint group. Instead. I didn't even go to peppermint. They all, no, they, there was not a peppermint all, group because it was all to no. me. No. He BRB bringing up the screenshot, mm -hmm. still have them. Hashtag petty still. That was a group chat. It was the, oh my gosh. I okay, this is in high school. This is in high school. This is it. Oh, that's right. This is in the high school. It's middle school. We will get there. Hit the like button if you want to see <laughs> you high school. You need to finish this story. The tea. Also, by the way, everyone, I just bought Penelope like a week ago. She was $35 and she's a unicorn and I... And yeah, so I guess, okay, back to the story. Sorry. I introduced her. <laughs> introduced her finally after 17 good. minutes into the video. Do you want to share one? Yeah, this is my last one. Oh, okay. So, I worked at the middle school last year, okay? And there's like this hall with, like, to the side of it, it there's a little steps and like a door, and it's kind of like a platform. <gasps> I know where this is going. It could easily be used as a stage, and it was. And it was, and I used it as a stage. So he used it as a stage, him and his dance friend, so I think it was you. Travis Wright, Mason Geber, Taylor Corman was like our manager. Taylor Corman. <laughs> oh, you got another manager, but it was mine. Totally I mean, fine. Sorry. I was there as a fan. Um, Who else? Lydia Rosengrand. Rosengrand. Was Brielle? No, she wasn't in Zombie. But Taylor wasn't in Zombie either, but she was still there because she would like give us the costumes. Yeah, okay. I would get there literally every day at like 7 15 because my mom had to work early. So, what else am I going to do before school starts? Start a show. So, so, I remember one day middle school. Walking down the hallways, all of a sudden there's this huge crowd. Huge crowd. I think I was like also, I just found out like Thrift Shop was a song, so it was like a big day for me. <laughs> it was and a big day for me. So all of a sudden, there's this huge crowd, big commotion. I hear the zombies song. From Family Force 5, and zombie, I'm like, zombie, zombie. what is going on? And everyone's like, what? Cheer them on. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden out. I see them doing the zombie dance. It was brilliant. The it best thing I've ever seen. Literally everyone would go nuts for the zombie dance. I know, and you guys would do it all the time. But, um... I still remember it. No, so okay, funny. not gonna lie, I can say strongly that I think sixth grade was the most, like... I had a lot of fun sixth grade compared to, like, even, like, not even to high school, but, like... Just in general, it was like the sixth grade fun. Like, the drama. There was so, it was so easy much too. drama. It was oh, so easy. Everyone the hardest thing was other. drama. <laughs> yeah, it really was. What made life very interesting. Some of the ones that I had written down is when I would sing, I love Chinese food <laughs> on the band Ooh, trip. That was the first time that we ever went on a trip together was band the first band trip in eighth grade. Remember, we got to compete. With Mr. Chula and yes. Mr. Oh and my I god! Sang Chinese but food do you the remember way there. the Kylie Lip Jenner challenge was out? <laughs> yes, can we send a photo into the we audience? We can send a photo into the audience. <laughs> Here it is. She brought it. This was the day of the band concert. She had these big. You know, so I was like, duh, I want to be Kylie Jenner. I've always you wanted, like. You wanted the big lips. I wanted the big lips. I love the Kardashians. I've been a huge fan ever since. So I took. A Gatorade bottle, and I was like, <laughs> "You were doing it full." My out. lips in there for about like 10, 20 minutes, which was definitely way longer than I should have. I took it off. My lips were huge. First of all, they were fine. I was, loved them. It was the look I was going for. It really was. The However, look you were going the for. next day, I had this huge purple ring 
around my mouth and I had to go to a band competition like that. It was in Northern Pines. There oh, yeah, so that's right. There were so many schools there. They were. And we won. And I remember we won the competition. Yeah, but... Like, I was so embarrassed the whole time. I, like, I didn't want to play my trombone. <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> you were the queen of the trombone. You're like, yeah, <laughs> Another thing that I have written down as well is um, back to my straight days when uh, me, Quinn, and Chase... We would make signs for Elizabeth, Kaylee, and Megan for your basketball games, your middle school basketball games. Do you remember that? <laughs> no. Oh my gosh, I remember this vividly. So Who did you make a sign for? I made one for Megan. <laughs> I did. Do you not remember this? <laughs> I was in the locker room. And I remember like being in the locker room room and I was like, oh my god, this is so foreign to me. But Quinn and Chase, they were like, we were all making signs. So Chase made one for Kaylee, Quinn made one for you, and I made one for Megan. And I remember, actually, I'm not going to share this next part of the story because it's stupid. What is it? It was a, no, it was really stupid. No, you stupid. can just cut it out. Like, I remember making the sign for Megan and Pearson like came in and he asked Megan, he was like, oh my god, Adam, can I have that sign to give to Megan? And I went, that no. was your sign? Yes! You didn't make that? No! He took that home. He asked her to the dance and then he took the sign from her. Brilliant, brilliant. That was your sign that you made. Yes. Well, I don't think we're thinking of the same sign though. It was, was like a basketball. her to the middle school dance. I didn't ask her to the middle school dance. We oh. were just making like number 44 or whatever her number was. Oh, okay. Then never mind. Wrong sign. Wrong sign. But that's <laughs> still also Still a funny. great money memory. Maybe I'll still keep that one in there just for a little bit. <laughs> kind of fun. It's either all awful memories of Mr. Graham's, me slamming <laughs> Sophie Preby's head with a backpack <laughs> after class. Or, um, Oh my god, Sophie. Sophie. Adam's to blame for how Sophie ended up. <laughs> Sorry, so <laughs> literally, I would go at, literally after every single school day, I would run to her as hard as fast as I could, take my backpack which had all my books in it, and whip it on top of their head. And all the teachers would be like, "Hey, Sophie!" Like as they're like walking, as they're like beating like the crap out of her. Sophie's like crying. Like, oh, crying. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh! Oh my god! Middle school, another memory oh god. that I don't know. <laughs> The ubu calls? The boob calls? Ubu calls. <laughs> okay, honestly, that was pure middle school. Let's bring this one up. This will be okay. our finale. So, you know, we're in middle school. We have no way of communicating with we one another. We can't drive. We can't drive. Me and Adam live like 30 minutes but, away from each other. Honestly, I wish I could like just for one day just like have an uvu call but actually have it mean something like those uvu calls meant something because we weren't allowed to like well, like we weren't distracted by our phones we, we weren't, weren't distracted by anything like it was solely just like what yes. what we each other were doing and like having real conversations i know and i just remember i but i like you could do like multiple calls so you could do like, multiple calls usually it'd be like me adam and kaylee mm -hmm. and but however at this time i was becoming really good friends with quinn speckbauer and we were all on a uvu call <laughs> and um me and quinn were starting to become like Good, 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 bud. So, like, he would tell me all about Elizabeth or whatever, and Quinn liked <laughs> Elizabeth. Like, every morning, Quinn would be like, how do I talk to Elizabeth? Ugh. And I was like, well, come on Uvu tonight with us. Like, we'll have, like, a fun little <laughs> we conversation. We do, like, every night Uvu call. And he was like, a, it wasn't his first Uvu call, though, but eventually he started, like, joining our Uvu calls, and we would be up to, like, 10.30 at night on school nights. Like, we were risky. We knew how to push the lines. We did. We knew how to push the lines. And um, one day, Quinn just told me, I'll never forget it. He's like, I think I'm gonna tell Elizabeth I like her today. I was like, no way, do it on Uvu. So Uvu comes around and <laughs> like you could talk to people separately on Uvu. So like I'm typing to Quinn, like Quinn's telling me that he's gonna do it. And then so like I'm typing to Kaylee and like Kaylee, it's gonna happen. Like here we go, here we go. And so Can I remember- we reenact it? I'm sorry. If this we need all four. Let, like okay. let's all just like different screen. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. Um, but I just remember me and Kaylee, I was like, Kaylee, we just have to act like we're gonna go look outside the window. And so, like, it was the perfect time, and I was like, Kaylee, oh my gosh, go look outside of the sky. And, like, you couldn't see our faces, obviously. You could just hear us. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm looking at the window. I'm gonna leave for, like, five seconds. I love the sky. And we were like, ooh, pretty. So, like, it seemed like we were leaving Quinn Elizabeth alone. I knew alone. something was up. When I, my ear was right on the speaker, listening to it all. And Quinn, oh my god, I can't wait for this line. And Quinn goes, hey, Elizabeth. <laughs> Yeah, what's up? You know the song, The Big Green Tractor? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that song reminds me of you and how perfect and pretty you are. And at this point, oh, I'm like, thank you. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That's so nice. <laughs> I'm 
big green tractor. Oh my gosh, that's good. That, see, that's a good one. That's funny. I guess we're gonna end that here. Um, if you are still watching, go and hit the like button. If we can get this video to 75. Two likes. If we can get this video to two <laughs> likes, we are going to do the second one, which is our freshman memories. We're probably still gonna do one anyway, but it's really still nice to like because it helps me out. I'm so sorry that I've been gone for like a really long time. She's been sleeping. I've been literally sleeping. I'm not even kidding. Actually, all winter break, I've been choreographing, and now I just now get he's stressed a out. Famous and choreographer in New York City. In New York City. Mercedes. <laughs> And, um, oh my gosh. Oh, good thing it's all done. I was spilling my drink. And, um, yeah, make sure to like and comment and subscribe and do everything. Hit the post notification bell. Um, Please. But other than that, I guess I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay trill and never lose the dream.